Hello guys, welcome back to Witcher Tips. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition crashing at startup, won't launch or lag the fierce ROM, and how to fix this up. So let's get started, right? So I'm gonna show you some of the steps which you can try. So these going to fix the issue up. So first thing what you have to do is when you're having this issue, what you have to do is you have to update your graphic drivers, right? So you can update in the usual way. The one method which I have already mentioned, you have to go here, then you have to click on manage option, right? From here you have to click on device manager, right? Then from here you can go for the update option for the graphic drivers. As well as apart from this, you can also do in this way, which means you have to click here, then you have to click on the respective graphic drivers which you're using and in my case I'm using radio. So I have to click here, then I have to go for system and I have to go for graphics and I'll be getting the update option here which I have to click right I'll be getting update option here so now I have to go for the update so this is how you update the graphic drivers so updating the graphic drivers can fix the issue in most of the time so the first thing what you have to do is you just have to update the graphic drivers right then you have to go for you know what should I say next is all about a disabled steam overlay from the steam app right so first thing what you have to do is you have to click on the steam then you have to click here then you have to go to settings right once you go to settings you have to go for in-game option from here then from here you have to check box to disable enable the steam overlay while in the game so as you can see that the steam overlay while in the game you have to untick I mean you have to untick it which means you have to disable it then you have to go for ok right then once you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to do the another step so it's all about you know in the discord right it's all about in the discord so what you have to do is first you have to open the discord then you have to click on user setting right you have to click on user setting it will be available here in the bottom as you can see it is available in the bottom right from here now you have to click on voice and video from the left side bar Right, we are having the voice and video here you have to click this now what you have to do is you have to scroll down right you have to scroll down and we have advanced option here as you can see on the screen now you have to disable this one right I mean sorry next what you have to do is you have to select this advanced option then what you have to do is you have to click on the advanced in the advanced option we have this one open it 264 video codec provided by Cisco System Inc. You have to disable this. Right, you have to disable this. Then you have to go to the. Then next, what you have to do is you have to go to uh, overlay here in the bottom as you can see. Next, below the voice and video, we have overlay. You have to click this. Then from here, what you have to do is you can also turn off in game play overlay. Right, you have to turn on in game enable in-game overlay it is already enabled in most of the cases as you know that it is turned on right now what you have to do is you just have to close this right means you have to you have to disable that right you have to uh, turn off right you have to turn off that next head over to the appearance right once after that you have to go here to the appearance you have to click this right from here you have to go to advanced from here you have to go to advanced right you have to go to advanced here we have advanced from here you have to disable hardware acceleration here we have hardware acceleration we have to disable this right you have to go for ok then once you're done with that you have to done with that what you have to do is you just have to once you're done with all these things what you have to do is you just have to close this right once you're done with this one you can go for a restart and you can click try playing the game and if that doesn't work what you have to do is you just have to follow these further instruction right so we know that one thing what we have to do is you just have to uh, make sure following these things which is all about as we know that you know sometimes you know once you try with all these things three method which I mentioned if it doesn't work you have to restart the PC and you have to play the game once again if you're still having the trouble what you have to do is you just have to check whether your windows which you're using in the pc is up to date right so you just have to check for the windows update right you 
just have to go for windows update settings here then you have to make sure if it is not up to date you can go for an update right if it is not up to date we can go for an update right that is what you have to do right so then is all about if it's once after that we are done with that what you have to do is you just have to do this also uninstall recent windows update 10 update just like i mentioned right so to do this even after um, update something this can also be an issue so what you have to do is you just have to go to the start menu then you have to search settings have to go for settings from here you have to go to update and security right there is an option update and security now you have to go for uh, as you as you can see that you have to go for view update history right so as you can see that now if you can see that there is an update having right there is update having for example kb4535599 had ought to be make sure to uninstall because see for the time being we have we are up to date and we have an update so far right we have we are not having an update version of right because we are already update so if you are having an update you will be having an option here uninstall update right we have option here in which you have to select this for example you have to select which means if you are having right you have to select this then you have to go for uninstall update options then you have to right click and you have to go for uninstall right you have to go for uninstall option right this is very important so it may take some time to delete the update and your system may restart automatically so i'm not going to show due to the video convenience i'm not going to show but you have to try this also right so have some patience and you can also manually reboot your windows pc if required so once you're done with that you can't now for the timing of video i'm not going to this but you just have to follow these instructions which can give you the game to work completely fine next is all about you know remove temporary files right you have to go for remove temporary files so uh, to do this you have to press windows key plus r right you have to press window key plus r on a keyboard now you have to type now you have to type that is you have to type percentage sorry i'm going for that you have to type percentage temp then you have to go for percentage then you have to press enter now you will get a bunch of temporary files on the page and select files by pressing ctrl plus a on the keyboard next you have to shift on the keyboard so we'll sh i'll show you that you have to press ok now these are some of the temporary files right you'll be getting a bunch of temporary files on a page now from here you have to select all files by clicking ctrl plus a right now as you can see that all files are selected and now you have to go for shift and delete on the keyboard to remove right you have to remove all these files so sometimes some of the temporary files can't be deleted so leave them as it is and closed then you have to try one more step and once that we'll see whether the game is going to work or not right you have to delete this for the time being i'm not going to delete this so i'm just going to cancel this right so next is all about you know uh, what you have to do is you just have to make sure that you're having the better graphics for example or should i say is you know some people complain the game is not launching or it's not working because the graphic drivers which you're using is not so good enough so that you must have a good graphic drivers right you must be having a good graphic driving gpu and ready in rx5700 and the cpu when it comes to intel, intel r core team i5 as you can see that right so you should have something very good enough so that you can play the game so you can't blame the game creators for not working in your PC because if you're not having the components to support it up, it won't work, right? So that is what is, these are the things which you have to try. So after trying this method, what you have to do is you just have to do a restart. If so, if you want, I'm not suggesting you to do that. But if it's, it, it's better if you do that. If it's not working, what you have to do is you just have to play the game once again right so this is what you have to follow instructions when it comes to how to fix that's all about when it comes to how to fix star wars battlefront 2 celebration edition crashing at startup more launch or lack of the fierce drop and how to fix it up if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out